this in it, but maybe your biggest takeaway from tonight and kind of how it all played out? Well, I think the biggest takeaway uh, that I'll have is that we were bad and Tennessee was great. Uh, I don't think we did anything to make them play poorly. And uh, I think they did a lot of things to make us play poorly. Uh, I don't think the score was a true indication of a lot of things because, you know, we could make a shot. And sometimes I think it gets a little misleading when you when you take shots and, 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 and if they're good shots and they don't go in and then you look at them, they took good shots. But, you know, they, they had some guys, you know, I think they're shooting like 31 or 32 percent for the year and, and uh, to come out and shoot the ball like that. They saw a big basket all night. That's on us, but but give them credit. They 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 played a really good basketball game. Even Rick said that after the game, and and we didn't. We obviously didn't play very well. But we didn't rebound. We we didn't do the things that 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 good teams have to do, especially on the road. Uh, uh, you know, get off to a good start would be one, but make the other team play poorly, and and that was the biggest takeaway I'll have. I I don't think this was a. a, a as meaningful a game for either team as probably what a lot of people think it would be. Uh, but they would, they had us scouted now. They had us scouted and they had, I think they played Tuesday and, and uh, I think the quick turnaround didn't help us. And it's not the reason why we got beat, but it didn't help us. And, and certainly, you know, our biggest challenge now is, you know, we wanted to win tonight without question, but like I, I told our t team before we come down here, let's just play with, with freedom and play with a free mind and and uh, uh, let it fly and then we'll then we'll uh, we'll play on Tuesday and, and be our best then. So uh, I guess when I said let it fly, I, I meant to let it fly and make a few of them, but but that certainly wasn't the case. You changed the lineup going into this one. Can you kind of just break down your thought process in doing that? Uh, well, it's a well, it it, it is a. Uh, uh, you know, just trying something new. Uh, I felt I don't think Jalen has been very good of late. I mean, that's that's that that's that's not a knock to him, but but he needed probably uh, uh, you know get get uh, uh, probably putting himself in situation to reevaluate some things and play to his strengths. And and you know, I thought Juan would would you know I think Juan's done pretty well of late. And I thought it may take some pressure off Marcus to have another ball handler out there. And it really didn't play out that way. He got two quick fouls early. And, and of course, we got behind. And, you know, you get behind. And even if it's early in the game, there's plenty of time. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, Juan is a much better player when you're playing from ahead than behind. Uh, uh, because if Marcus is going to be in the game and some other things. So, so uh, uh, that group, unfortunately, I thought it would be a better defensive team. And it really – it, we, we probably played okay defense tonight considering the sh shots they, they made. Not all bad defense whenever uh, Pons and Josiah jumped up and made shots. But but the way that they got the ball and, and was able to elevate over our guys from an athletic standpoint, that that, that, that was a, a kind of a telltale sign that we got to do a lot of stuff to keep the ball out of the paint. Is there something about the way you guys are defending that's inviting teams to, to shoot and get hot from the outside? I don't think that we've got the personnel uh, as much as we've had to to uh, uh, be there on the catch uh, as much. Uh, uh, we're not a we're not a real quick team, and so uh, it uh, uh, Matt. That's probably a good question. More inviting would probably be the answer. But when you when when you allow a guy to catch the ball on the line and you close out short, uh, it, it's a pretty you know, it's, it's, it's a relatively in rhythm type shot. And, sure. and that's what we did. We need to make them catch a step further out and then close out short. And, and, and uh, at least with some guys to based on scout report. And, and we, we don't do that much. We, 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 we don't do much to play our, our man after he, ca uh, before he catches it. Uh, uh, it's very, fr I, I'm pretty frustrated. I, I, I think we've had some pretty good defensive teams in the last uh, 18 years. And, and, uh, I can't remember a defensive team that 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 was so giving as far as uh, allowing people to to basically execute what they want to do, as opposed to us kind of taking them out of what they want to do. And, and uh, 
we, we, we haven't done that in quite some time. So we're not giving up on that by any stretch, but you know, we, 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 uh, we are, we're not near aggressive or, or, or near as athletic, uh, uh, on the perimeter as what we have been in the past. Hey, also real quick, before we get too far away from it in the, in the opening there, you mentioned, uh, just come down here, play, let it fly, go hard. Did, did you see the, the, the effort and energy you wanted or, or was that hard to come by tonight? I think whenever you get down uh, uh, and, and you get frustrated, I think things kind of go away a little bit. I, 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 I haven't, I mean, I may not even watch this one. So, so, uh, uh, but, but I think that uh, uh, it's a situation where I don't think our, our, effort and energy was poor I think our mindset going into the game was good we actually had a good day today uh, but I, I, I just don't feel like that when things don't go well that we're uh, we, we handle the adversity quite as well as what we we need to or, or don't adjust to what we need to do during the course of a game especially early on and uh, you know that put us behind the eight ball right off the bat but I don't, I, I don't want to comment and say our energy was bad. I'm not sure it was bad. I don't think it had a chance to look to be good just because they were so good offensively tonight. Sure. Thanks. What can you do? Oh, I'm sorry. What, what can you do when you have guys that are dealing with confidence issues? Uh, you know, I, I may, you know, maybe uh, have uh, an outside person come visit with us, maybe. Uh, uh, I've never been big on that. Uh, uh, you know, maybe maybe get them with some people that that are that are uh, uh, experts and and that kind of stuff. But I always thought the way that you deal with it is you play your way through it. Uh, and and we got, we do have some guys that are struggling with that. Uh, you know, it's it's to me it's uh, uh, some guys need to play well in order to play well they probably need to make some shots or make a percentage of shots and and uh i don't think that i intentionally or i don't think that we really put pressure on kids that they have to make shots to play well because every time i talk to the guys you don't want to be that guy that you have to make shots to play well you want to be a guy that can help a team win regardless of situations and i think i think we worry too much about uh, 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 maybe, maybe, uh, uh, making shots and then it totally deflates us where we're not the same player in other areas. Uh, we'll emphasize the same things over and over and over and we'll get it back. We'll, we'll get it back. Uh, but the last two games have been, you know, it's, it's been hard to watch offensively, but you know, uh, uh, I mean, I don't know that against TCU we were what we hang 18 and tonight we hung, hung 26 at halftime so uh uh that's that's not a way to start a basketball game hey coach I know you've already talked about it a little bit but I also about the three-point shooting uh just overall your thoughts on like Ochai Abaji's three-point shooting tonight obviously CB not having the greatest night from three well, uh, they, talked, were one, they were one for 13 yeah so so yeah and 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 if you've watched us play when we played well, we've actually shot a pretty good percentage from three. So we're probably, this year, we're probably a 35% three-point shooting team, 34, 35. And, and, uh, but in order to be that, your best two shooters need to, you know, uh, uh, probably make a better percentage. I actually thought Ochai was aggressive early. I think he shot three threes in one possession, if I'm not mistaken. I thought that yeah. was, I knew the third one would go in, at least I, I really thought it would, but. But uh, uh, I, I, uh, I'm not going to get hung up on, on, on the shooting stuff. I, I'm more hung up on the, on the plays uh, uh, that impact us winning as a group than whether or not if a guy just makes shots. Hey, Coach, what, what do you all need from – oh, go ahead. Uh, Coach, I know you talked about it a little bit, but uh, overall, what did you make of Dewan's performance tonight uh, in, in, this, in this, his second career start? Uh, I, I don't think that anybody played great. I think Marcus had a pretty good game. I think Marcus, guys, you know, whether it be Baylor, whether it be TCU, whether it be – Marcus is playing pretty well. Uh, uh, but I don't, I don't believe that uh, anybody else really played great. Davis made some baskets and Jalen made some baskets there late when the game was over. But I, I don't think anybody played well uh, other, than, other than Marcus. So I, I don't know that I would – rank out his performance very good 
uh, because when when he was out there, we didn't play well. I mean, that's that that's how you sh- you should look at this. If you're a point guard and you're not really a scoring point, uh, when you're out there, our team has to be good because that's how you'll be evaluated strictly, not on your individual performance. If we're good while you're out there, and we weren't very good out there today, and that's not all on him, but certainly you know he plays a role in that. We have time for one or two more. Hey, what what do you all need from Jalen? It seemed like he was so critical to your success early in the season. Uh, I would say rebounding, uh, energy, uh, uh, playing downhill, being a good passer, knocking down, uh, 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 you know, he used to be a 35% three-point shooter probably, you know, if, if we were going to get the, the most that we possibly can out of him. And I thought he did some things tonight uh, uh, that was pretty positive offensively. Now, defensively, not very good. Uh, nobody was. And, and guys caught it and shot it. Uh, on us but if he could get to the point where he could play his man before he caught it so he didn't catch it in a in a situation where 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 he had to be pressured uh you know because right now it's that, that that's pretty hard on some of our guys to actually uh, uh take away the three if they catch the ball on the line and and we just need to we need to we need to force them to catch it a step further out so that you can play him as a driver and and uh uh but i, I you know i'm I, I think that everybody needs to play just a little bit better. But but with him, you know, obviously playing with the swagger that he played with early would be very beneficial. Tyon seems to be coming on. Are you gaining confidence in him? Uh, yeah, I, I thought Tyon was pretty good against TCU. Obviously, second half tonight, I didn't think very. I didn't think anybody was very good. But but he 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 uh, he got some minutes and 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 did some did some pretty good things. But but still yet not enough. I mean, they're, they're, it, to, to me, when, when you say, Matt, I think it, Matt, that's Matt that asked the question. To me, yeah. when, you, when you look at it, it, it kind of gives you a false sense of, of, of maybe where guys are if you score points late in a game like that or something like that. The bottom line is when the game was, when, when the game was you know, st- still in play, uh, I'm not sure we did the things that a team does uh, in order to – put guys in the position to have success. And, and I would put Tyon in there too. I, I think Tyon does some good things, but I don't think, you know, activity level, uh, offensive rebounding, uh, uh, you know, he got fouled on a couple of drives that were really bad plays that turned out okay because they bailed us out uh, uh, by fouling us. But, but uh, I think that's what happens when, 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 when we get kind of locked up, people try to go make plays to help us. And I think he's doing trying real hard at that. But sometimes helping us is not consistent with with uh, doing it as a group. We make it easier. Sometimes we're just out there on a alone on an island. And I felt like that's what we were tonight. And I, I I'd say that about everybody. All right, coach. Thank you, Bill. Coach, coach Bill. Uh, w uh, Gustavo Thomas, WHK ninety point three. The Rock Knoxville is a pleasure speaking to you. So how do you see this playing? You know, back to back years with Tennessee. You know, a team that. It's kind of emerging this decade in terms of uh, college basketball. How do you see play, you know, last year and then this year to a team coached by Rick Barnes? Well, they, we, we played them the last three years. So we played them the year before as well. So this is the third year in a row we played them. And, and uh, uh, yeah, you're, you, to your point, yeah, they're doing great. They're doing great. There's an energy level. Uh, uh, the players really share. They're, they're, they've recruited really athletic guys that, can, that, can, uh, 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 that are interchangeable. I mean, really athletic guys. And so, yeah, the, the future is bright. And, of course, Rick's great guy, tremendous coach. And the players look like, to me, they love playing playing for him. So uh, I, I, I anticipate them being at this level for as long as he's here. All right. Thanks, Coach. All right, guys. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, Coach.